Hi everyone, I know you might be thinking that this is a very obvious video. I know a lot of people already know what charger to use with their phone. But uh, trust me, I've been getting a lot of messages recently that what charger people should buy for their phone. See, in the past, it was never an issue because your phone usually comes with a charger. But right now, you don't get charger in the box with most of the phones right now, especially on the higher range. So people usually ask me this question every time when they purchase a new phone, which charger they should buy. So I'm going to explain that in this video. Before telling you all about the charging brakes, I want to tell you about the different charging technology a lot of brands use. Uh, there are some standards for the charging technology, but there are some other things brands that use a proprietary charging like you have heard about the Wook charging, hypercharging, dash charging, whatever fast charging they're talking about. But most of those brands provide their own charger bricks because if you remember OnePlus came with a 20 watt charger in the box but if you try to charge that phone with even 60 watt charger from your laptop it usually charged slowly. So you had to use that particular charger to charge your phone a little, little bit faster. So that's how brand make their own fast charger. So if your brand provide anything over 60 watt, 80 watt, 100 watt, you should use their proprietary charger because they are different brick and those batteries are tested with those bricks. But there are other big brands like Google, Apple, Samsung, even Motorola and in some cases OnePlus as well that uses a standard power charging which is called power delivery. So uh, there are also difference in power delivery as well. Let's suppose you have power delivery 2.0 and 3.0. But let's just assume as of right now your phone support 20 or 25 watt power delivery charging. So if you have any PD charger that supports 25 watt or above, it should be able to charge that phone or the maximum capacity. Even if you're using your 100 watt laptop charger that supports PD charging, it should be fine for your 25 watt phone. You do not have to worry about it. In the new phones, most of the phones are coming with the power delivery 3.0 and it supports some other additional technology as well. Let's suppose if I'm talking about Samsung, so Samsung provide a technology called PPS as well with power delivery 3.0. So what it is, it's like a programmable power supply. In this case, a phone can tell the power adapter to reduce the charging speed because it cannot take the highest speed because maybe it's heating up or whatever that is. So it's a little bit more smarter charging. But even if you were using a PD 2.0 the phone was enough smart to stop that charging it's just a way of not losing a lot of electricity as well so that's a just smart way of doing it but even if you use a pd 2.0 charger with pd 3.0 phone it should work perfectly fine so now the question is which charger you should use with your phone see i mostly use my samsung 25 watt charger with mostly every phone because i don't have very fast charging phone but i also use this motorola 68 watt charger as well i also charge my laptop with this so this is my main go-to charger wherever i go i just carry this one uh, i also have this apple brick i mean i use to charge iPad and iPad mini with this because like I have a lot of power socket and recently I've been using this stuff cool charger as well. This is also 25 watt charger and it is also PD certified, but you can also use the anchor or even Speedgen, any charger that certified PD charging and you, the brand you can trust, you can use it without any problem. And honestly, it's not really hard to identify a PD charger nowadays. So any charger that supports a USB-C even as input should support PD charging. I mean, it's mostly 95% of the case. And uh, if you're using even your MacBook charger like I use, that's like a 87 watt charger. It should also work perfectly fine even if it's an 18 watt charger. Or even if you're using a Google 18 watt charger, 30 watt charger with any other phone. I'm just giving an example. You can use any PD charger or even US, any USB-C charger with your phone. As long as it is branded or you're not using a cheap cable or cheap adapter, your phone should be fine. You do not have to worry about the phone charging and I mean how you're charging, which charger you're using because the phones are really smart. You do not have to micromanage everything when you're charging your phone. And if we talk about the wireless chargers, there is also a standard called Qi charging. I mean, Apple uses its proprietary charger MagSafe to charge it faster, but it also supports Qi charging, which supports like 7.5 watt. And even if you're using any other phone like OnePlus that supports 50 watt charging, you can still charge that phone in a lower speed with that wireless charger. So that standard is everywhere. Unless you really want that higher speed of charging from their brand like OnePlus or Xiaomi or whatever, you can use a Qi charger anywhere. So like in wireless, just go for that certification and it should work for you. 
So if you want my recommendation, I would say if you're buying a phone that is USB-C, I mean, if it's not an iPhone, it's going to be a USB-C phone. Any charger that is at your home is an USB-C should work fine. But if you want faster speed that like, it, let's suppose your phone supports 68 watt charger, but you don't have a 68 watt charger, you should get a good charger. Like nowadays you can get good gallium charger, which is going to be really small and you can get like literally 70 watt charger in this size. And even if your phone does not support that highest charging, I would still recommend going for a 60, 70 or even 80 watt charger so that you can use that for your laptop as well. This is going to be a really portable charger for everything. I will link some charger in the description box so you can choose whatever suits you the best. And if you think this video was useful, please hit the like button. My name is Rohit. I'll see you in the next one. Till then.